<laughs> we're uh, live streaming. We're going to talk about making camper cards. We're a card making group mostly. It's kind of like whatever I want, and it often is from now on, as my plan, um, is going to be something off of the craft roulette the, the uh, Friday before. So that's what I'm up. That's what I'm planning. That's what I'm planning. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I guess it's just you and me. That's enough. <laughs> I've made these before, but we're going to make them again tonight because they're fun. And I don't think a lot of you probably have seen them. Grandma Gay's here. I don't think you... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm faint. <laughs> I don't think you have ever been here on uh, for, the, for seeing this little thing. You haven't eaten dinner. Oh, I, I did eat my dinner, Leslie. I, I'm... Well, at least you can eat. I can't eat during class. You can. Hi, 5K. How are you? Hi, Lee. How's everybody? So nice that you show up. Hi, Karen. Good morning. In the back row in Australia. Hi, Anita. Welcome back, guys. So, last, last week, if you will remember, <clears throat> you were wondering, ah, I have made these little campers for so many years and they're like little scrap cancer campers and I'll show them to you in just a second. I guess we should go ahead and, and oh well Allie we're glad you're going to be here. That's okay. I saw you on Instagram today. Hi Ashley. Yeah, this is a like a paper kind of piecing thing but it's fun. Seven. Oh. I bet you are hungry. You know, I don't know if I want to do the intro or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, <laughs> Do I do the intro? No. You don't have to put that it's just not good. Okay, we're going to change mics. Just not good. We got another one. Here we go, test, test, test. Test, test, test. Yes, it is Tuesday, but it's not just Tuesday. It's 5K's birthday. You're spending it with me. I've spent quite a few birthdays with scrapbooking and, and such too. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad. Well, happy birthday. And many, many more. That's right, 5K. <laughs> 5K birthday. There's gotta be something there. I mean, there was a young lady named 5K <laughs> who had, who showed up to class on her birthday. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Well, let's go ahead and do the intro and we'll get this started. Since your guys are here, somebody might want to eat breakfast or lunch or whatever. Thank you for being here. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, I'm Mary Gunn, Mary Gunn, Fun Founder and Head Professor of Fun University. Welcome to Study Hall, September 14th, 2021, where we are going to make campers. What Fun University Study Hall is becoming, and I'm pretty excited about it, is a follow-up to the Craft Roulette episode before. And so this time we um, talked about camping and um, tone on tone, camping, something, easel card. We've already done a lot on easels in Fun University. You can look at that up. Um, and something else. Black background, which would have been a good class too. But um, yes, clap, clap, clap. Um, oh my, I must have scratched a mosquito bite. Uh, right off. I may have blood on my card tonight. Ooh. Um, so these little, I thought, well, we could talk about campers because I have a little camper up my sleeve. Well, not literally, but yes, now I do. And, uh, I would like to show you how to use them and make them. They are standalone on their, on their own merits. They are cards, but you can also adjust them so that they can be 
just a little element on a card. So you have multiple sizes here. This one is simple, and I'm going to show you. This is just an, this is basically a rectangle. <laughs> it's not any harder than that. It's a tiny house, but it's sure cute. And this one is an egg. That's, it's an egg die. So if you have any dies that are for Easter, see, if you look at it this way, it looks like an egg, right? And if you look at it this way, it looks like a campa. So this is a card that, um, and you can do the back too. <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's a great way to use up some little scraps. Like you're, if you're using up a kit and you have a few little this is and that's and you're tired of making stripe cards on there like that uh, like we all are doing which is fun too you can make a couple little camper cards i had a friend over i'll just keep talking and showing you these i had a friend over sunday when we went to the funeral but um i let her go ahead and pick out some cards from a bin that i had I said, you want to go you want to go get some cards <laughs> And so, but she found these and she loved them and she chose some to give to her grandkids. She said, I think I can, I think you have enough that I can, see that's the reverse of that. I think you have enough that I can uh, send each one of my grandkids a little camper card. So I don't know what she's going to do with them quite, but it, they're really fun. This one has some little ribbon for the curtains. And that one had some twine for the curtains. This one even has a word on it. So if you had, these are great. You know, you talk a lot about masculine cards. Well, this is a, another great way to make a, a go-to. That one's just made out of pretty paper and has organdy, rib, organdy curtains. Ooh la la, very fancy. And, oh, this one has lace curtains. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you could have um, all sorts of things, and you just stick on a little doorknob. You can stick on little, um, you can put stickers on them, whatever you feel like. These are so old, they had my Close My Heart stamp on them. And this one's got a little bit of a slipped disc there, but this is a Christmassy one with a little Christmas tree. So if you are on the road, that these would be great to make. And if you have somebody that is outdoorsy or likes to camp or has a tiny home or wants to pretend they would like a tiny, a tiny home or something like that, these might be really fun for you to send to them and, and just make. I think they're just fun if you're making it like Christina does a lot of things. Hi, Christina, by the way, for... Um, craft shows. And so these would be really great for something like that. So you have to, if you're going to, we'll do this first where you make the front and back. Oh, that one's not designed on the back. Where you make the front and back. Um, and let's go ahead and start with a small one that's easy. So what you're going to want, oops, let me get this numbskull microphone over here before I cut into the numbskull microphone cord which wouldn't help its, its life at all. So this is basically a slim mini, mini, mini. Um, let's see. This one is three and a half. So you could do three and a half by five-ish, 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 maybe four and a half. Three and a half by four and a half, almost almost something that that Miss Ardith would like. So let's see how big this is. Is this like half? Yeah. But you can do it any size as long as you're going to be able to get it into a an envelope. Why? You don't have to worry about size. I used to make kits for these and sell them as kits. I probably still have some, but I I don't know where they are. So there's our start. That's not too hard, is it? You just make a folded card. That's pretty simple so far. Then to make this little angle, or we can do the other one, doesn't matter. Just decide what the angle is and go for it. I forgot my corner rounder. <clears throat> so if you have a bunch of, if you're, Dish busting or stash busting, 
this is a great little fun trick for using because you don't have to use just patterned paper you can also use um, any kind of scraps that you have that you have been practicing with uh, you can you can use them I just pulled out a couple of things here and then you can decide okay this has a little pretty thing so I think we'll maybe make a strip here of that and it's just all piecing and playing I have a, actually these are old grandma gay these are all very old and I have not done these in years I, I don't remember when I did them but you can just go ahead and then if you don't if you don't leave a white border around them like these have the white border around them that makes it a little harder because you you can but this was a die that it was a Cricut cut die that I had <clears throat> and so I just made an, a template made the whole thing trimmed it down made the template and then would trim the would just make these little pretties I think I hand cut them but they don't look like it well now I'm wondering but some of the things that I you might be able to do is have a couple papers have get some little pretty trim there's you need something for the window for the door something for the kickstand and something for the wheels you don't if you don't want them black you don't have to you can do anything it's really fun but if you don't have a white border it makes it easier and we'll just fit this on here like that and I don't want that to get stuck down yet and since we've got team purple and team orange people here <laughs> we can go ahead and I know that's going to be about right there and how much room how much space is that Ooh, there's a muffin for the paper but if you're going to if you put it on a card you don't have to do the background as much either so if you don't have a lot of one paper you could make this if you were going to Florida but you can just fussy cut along it's it's going to be one of those things that uh, no particular right or wrong you're not most likely not going to mess it up You could, you could, <laughs> I could. And you could edge distress them if you wanted to and make it look darker and all that kind of stuff. There's so many cute ways that we stay on. You know, the thing is you can make it like this and then if it's not right, you can just trim it up like that. I'm looking at my cutting right there and going, well, I think I might have to trim that up just a little bit. So, I know if I want to make this the same size, I better give myself a little cut here. You can always fold over your paper too. See, I haven't done this in ages. You can fold over your paper too. And um, cut them two at a time so you can do the back and the front. It's, it's sometimes tricky. Ooh, there, oh, I forget about that. It's the mirrored image though on the back somehow or other so that don't don't let me rewind that and say no don't do that so we'll stick this guy here see I'm gonna have to trim that a little bit so if you do cut it at the same time look what happens that's right I forgot about that it goes back where it it doesn't work so we can make this a whole new a whole nother one on the back We'll just use the back side of the paper <laughs> yep happy campers that's always a good one there was a lady that came into the clinic one time and she huffed and puffed and said she wasn't a happy camper and it wasn't my fault and I didn't care that much but <laughs> I tried to be nice and uh, so I sent her one of these cards and she was nicer after that and it was so you make you can make people happy But you can just fit it all together. Happy trail. Yep, people that are, who knows? Uh, yep, I think that's going to be fine. So let's go ahead and just stick that on. 
This will be a cute little guy. I am going to have to trim him up. But that's okie doke. How did I get off so badly? Well, I guess it was because I was doing it. But since there doesn't have to be a particular size, we're good. It's when we get into those particulars that it gets harder. But if you had watercolor scraps or some sort of stamped or you've made your own background texture paper or background paper, see, we'll just cut that off and it'll just be so fine. Look at there. Just like the factory made it. And I also forgot to put the... There we go. So let's cut some tires for this real fast. Tires you don't have to worry about being backwards. But if you're going to make it a standalone, you need to have two tires. Is this big enough? It doesn't matter if it's if it's got a little flat it a little flat on the tire. And you can also decide if you want it on the outside or put it inside underneath, but you can sandwich it between the base base and the pretty paper. You could also just cut this and just draw on it. It would be fun. So, but I I think I'm going to have it on the outside. This is a one and a half inch circle for this guy. I'm going to put the flat on the top so nobody knows. Oops, I don't have the other side made up. Oh, I don't even have that one for that. That's okay. We're making them the op. It's opposite day right here on Camper USA. Just kind of a fun twist. I used to get real hung up and make it this and that and very specific, but I've given it up. Probably be better with a little extra adhesive. But it works for tonight. How's every? Let's see who's all here. TLC Designs here. Linda Gorman, thank you. Biddy Penny. Look at all you nice people. And it's 5K's birthday. Hey, Kim. I need your new address. You can DM it to me. So, all right. Here's a... Here's a little part that you you just line these guys up. You do want to make sure that they are the same because they're going to be what you rest on. And then you need a little something for the kickstand there. And it doesn't have to be black. It can be. Black's always a basic color for every stylish camper. <laughs> Kim Dixon, welcome. And then the kickstand needs to be basically at the same level as that. Let's push this up a little bit. Maybe we can see. Oops, see, I lost it. I lost it. And it's nice if they are the same size. So we'll see if this is going to work. So if we put this along here and we have basically a straight line there. Come on, work with me. Then this little guy can go right up here. And I think I'll stick him inside. Look at these things pop around. Paparazzi. I am going to put it in, in this little groove though. And now I have to line them up again. How'd I do it? <clears throat> that way they will stand pretty straight. It doesn't matter. I mean, they're going to, if it tilts a little bit, you can't see that very well, but if it tilts a little bit, it's not going to be too bad, but that's going to be your anchor. And then on the back side, you can just line it up. And that's always good if you do it before you put this last paneling on. 
Was, I, I just have to use glue that allows me to try again. The try again glue. <laughs> it's a good thing. I made that a little shorter, so there's a way to trick, fix that. There we go. Now it's going to open up. You can't see it now, but it will open up and stand, which is adorable. We love it. We love it. And then this little guy, okay, so he's about this big. So I will just trim him off right there. And he won't have a pretty scallop on the back, but that's okay. I guess I could make one, but I'm not gonna. Okay, it's going over the, the top there. You could make one side a lemonade stand. That would be cute, and you could put an awning on it. We just love little cute things, don't we? <laughs> yes, yes we do. Oh, I made that higher, that's okay. There we go. So we're getting there. The door is super easy. Let's look at a couple of them. They're usually about... For campers, I think of doors as always having rounded edges. So you see some in your future. Yeah, I can see you making them and just having a blast, Bitty Penny. General, so I just use a piece of cardstock, and I think it was an inch and a fourth, as I recall. Golly, I did. Inch and a fourth by about two. How big is this? Inch and a fourth by two. Two and a fourth, two and an eighth. It's, it's not something you really have to be uber careful about. And if you have some cardstock scraps, you're good to go. Let's try some yellow doors. And I would put them, I did use different kinds of mats. Here's one that's just Oh, he needs a little more glue. Um, he's just a straight up and down rectangle. How easy is that? Uh, this little guy, I always want to put a window in it. Sometimes I've put kitty cats looking out. Sometimes I put wreaths on them, whatever's happening. And uh, sometimes I, I like to put a little step stool because, you know, that first step can be very, very dangerous. So we like to help everybody get down safely. So um, you see. There we go. There's a little step stool. I put the little step stool on the back there. And it's just fun to have, you can put a little white, a little white um, border around it if it looks like it needs it. But if it's, if you've got a lot of contrast going on already, you can pass on that extra step. This is kind of a messy old thing, isn't it? Let's see how this looks. So, okay, so if I put it about there, that's good measuring, right? That's very precise. That can be somebody's windows right there. Don't, because it all kind of, if you just kind of have a scrap day, this is a great way to do it. And then you just start putting all the little pieces in piles and using them again. It's just like magic. It's wonderful. Do I want to make little, you know, I think I'll make this square or rectangular. Is this the back side or the front? This was the front. Front. Then I've got this little piece of purple. I think I might make that the step. You can just have fun putting different patterns together. Yeah, it's my favorite measuring device. My, my folds. <laughs> my pinch folds there. You can just, uh, you can just have fun with it. But it does, it, you just, what I used to find was I would just start making all these little piles. Okay, this one's going to happen here. And you could pre-cut them and it would be fine. Um, I just chose not to. What would be good? A little green window, maybe. Green cardstock. Do I have the right green? Something. I should get my little ones out, but eh, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to match. Now you also have the design decisions to make of do you want 
to have this this guy be the back, or, or do you want and have no win no door but windows? Um, do you want to write your message here? Do you want to have? Do you want to add some like backup lights and things like that? So many decisions. So many. <clears throat> that seems like kind of a big window. I always like to put a little awning, uh, so I'm going to make this about an inch. The little awning, I think, makes it look kind of sweet and cute. So that one ended up being an inch by an inch and a half, and that just is fine. The awning, the awning. What can we do for the awning? It's not a hard thing at all, so if I know how big this is. Do I have any other colors that would look good as an awning? You could do stamped pieces. I, and you can do anything. It's just totally up to you. We could even, I don't think I want a white awning. That seems a little boring. <laughs> we just don't need that. You know, some, <clears throat> <clears throat> ooh, you could have a stained glass window with some acetate. That would be fun. You know, let's do a stained glass window <laughs> because all campers should have a stained glass window for the love of Pete. And we'll have it nice and pretty in the background there. Wouldn't that be lovely with a little awning over the stained glass window? Yep. Be the first in your campsite to have a stained glass window camper. There was some guy I was watching. Uh, I don't know why I was watching. Oh, I do too. He was so captivating. <clears throat> Pardon me. He was talking about some some place that uh, <laughs> I'm going to put the glue at the top because I'm going to put an awning over it. Um, <clears throat> but he was trying. He was selling mobile homes, and he was so captivating. He was like Billy Mays, and I almost wanted to buy one because he was so good. And it was just talking about how he I couldn't turn him off I wanted to but I didn't want to move to Florida and but it would be okay so here's a so this would be a pretty awning okay so we'll cut a little piece of that it is fun okay you make the awning just a little bit bigger than the window and then you just need to cut a little angle. And if you have a little scallop scissors, you can just add those and you'll be, you'll be so, you will be the envy of every camper owner in the, on the campsite. Could you use these on an easel card? You know, you, if you had it a little bit smaller, you could just, yeah, I think you could. One of the small ones. I think you could use that on an easel. And then you would have a fun fold and an easel. <laughs> um, what are you saying here? I like the pattern paper in the top left of your desk. This one? This, I, this is like all I have left. This right here? So I think that's all I have left. It's um, one of those things I am absolutely being careful with. <laughs> hey Jeannie, welcome. And welcome to being our Patreon page too. It's fun to have you. <laughs> so yep, yep. So now we just have to put in a little a little place there. What kind of window do we want? We already have our stained glass window, so we certainly don't need another one of those. But we do want to have a little bit of contrast. It might be that it would work to have some pattern paper. You can always use old Picture My Life or Project Life cards too. I mean, you can you can make you could make a whole camper out of this, you know, just as a panel. You don't have to have them as cards. You can have them as something that sticks on a card too. <clears throat> so it's just just never stops. Now we might want to pick up some of that color in that stained glass window for here. Looks like I drew a little line there, so we'll cut that little line off. Or we'll just cut it up to here. I'm never going to use true story. All my stories are true. 
So I'll have to, there we go. Or you could do a circle too, you know? Little circle window, that might be cute. Let's see what that looks like. See, that dolls it right up. <laughs> yeah. We'll just go ahead and use that. Oh, they're so darn cute. Okay, I'll do it. Hang on, let me restart it. Okie doke, starting over. <laughs> One of your granddaughters is going to be a unicorn riding a mermaid when she grows up. Sounds like one of my relatives. <laughs> is she related? And then we could do a hubcap. You can do um, you can do anything. You can do a metal hubcap if you want, or you can just pick up another color that you've already used so that it all looks lovely together. Um, let's see what else. I'm looking all over here trying to find something for the hubcap. I don't know. Oh, here. Let's just use another one of these. We'll just make, we'll just use some pattern paper here. You like the circle window? Yeah, it makes a big difference. Just the little, it's truly the little things on these little campers. <laughs> Absolutely. And then a little bling on your hubcap is always a good idea. We could also use just a little bit of sparkle along here. Who wants to make some campers? Aren't they fun? Oh, that ended up with a little heart. Such a shame. It's going to get kivered up. And then you can pull out the bling and, and just start going crazy. Um, back here, back here. Well, you could put a stamped image. You can put a big picture window here. Or you could, I mean, you can flip it up to have something fold up and uh, all sorts of things going on there. But it needs a little something. Uh, I do like it when you have a, a bit of a, a mat to separate the colors a little bit. I think they look a little sharper. You know, let's see what I mean. Okay, get a good look at that. Let's see if I can do this without too much hail damage. Then we'll stick it on this guy. Don't call the insurance adjuster yet. We're not done with you. You can put little addresses. You can put this sentiment on the back. California or bust. <laughs> California, here we come. Now, see how that looks a little bit better to have a little bit of contrast. Eunice, Eunice. I think I was Eunice, it turns out. So anyway, yes, Eunice is, a, is our problem. She stole my voice, just like Ursula. Rotten, rotten people that come in and cause trouble. Yep, now if you do that though, I want, you know what? You just have to keep going. It does look better with the contrast. I got it. I, I think, I think, I think. Now, do we want a little something here? We have this little guy right here we can use for a little contrast on the bottom. Hate to waste anything. Does this microphone sound better? Now that it is. Heading for a movie, family movie time. Well, you go have a good family movie, Miss Bitty Panty. Thanks for stopping by. And I look forward to seeing your trailers or campers or tiny homes or whatever you want to call it. Because there's a oh, mobile homes, manufactured housing. <laughs> I thought this would be a, I haven't ever made one of these, of course, for craft roulette, 
But since we had camping, it just made me think, you know, might be a good time to pull out, pull out those old campers and show them how. Yeah, I'm going to have to work with you. And I, some, I was working on the parameters today and realized that we had actually vetoed camping, camping once this summer. But I'm sure glad we got it because it was really fun. Cards you guys made this week were just terrific. And even though easel cards tend to be a little bit... They're not as, uh, you don't have as much variety as you do like your favorite card, but still at the same time, you guys made lots of different twists and turns. It was very fun. I enjoyed every, every submission. Okay, so much for, you know, you can do a lot without a die. <laughs> That is the story here. There we go. Now we've got a little more contrast. I think it looks better. Okay, back you go, back you go. Could cut out a couple little birds and have them sitting on that awning too. I wonder if you could. One right there. Looking in the window maybe? In that stained glass window, or you could put a little bird feeder right there. Oh, the things! Oh, the things! Okay, he needs a little doorknob, so we'll hit the bling, the bling for that. I think uh, maybe a purple doorknob would be very fetching. Oh yes, purple doorknob is just the. Just the ticket for this year's, for this year's camper. And if you can't see it, but the, it just stick, it just sits so, so nice. <laughs> and then on the back, I don't know what I want to do on the back. You could put a tag. That might be kind of cute. Let's put a tag on there. Even though it would not be in the right place. This is a card we can do funny things with it. And just add a little tagaroonie. What state should he be in? Our, our tags are white, I think. Kind of boring. Um, what state could he be from? We could put it white and then mount it on that. That would be fine. Hello, Missouri. Let's see what we've got. This is truly a scrap card. You, if you buy anything for this, you'll get kicked out of the union. <laughs> Just, you got to use your, your scraps on this one. The card making union, which I don't think there is one. <laughs> so don't be afraid. I'm just kidding with you. Okay, so if you did that, and stick it on this little scrap. You'll never use all your scraps making these cards, though. I don't think you could. There you go. Just put that right there. That's cute. That's too big a thing to mess with. And see that even has a little pencil line on it, and it is just okay. You know, and so I was saying you could do this on any size card, and you could... If you were doing a, a slim, or oops, <laughs> you had a roll over there. Um, if you had a slim line, you could just make a little smaller ones and, and line them up. You could have a caravan. We should start one. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't, wouldn't even know what to do for something like that. But let's see if we have a little, just something to die up. Just charm it up here a little bit. It's not very pretty. This would be a good thing to do 
before you put all the all the other things on it but you can hide lots of seams with a little t bling and it just dresses it up that where it is this stuff is the hardest stuff to know where the end is there we go i always think it, the foil part's going to come up i'll come back in with uh with this guy and trim him off He's thin, he cuts easily. Oops, I didn't do a very good job. But it's so pretty, Dobie's gonna really pay that much attention to that little bad cut. There we go, see how that fixes that up nicely? There we go, I'm gonna help myself. Put a little, a little something there. So probably another little piece of bling here. You can use any, you know, if you had dinosaurs, anything, you can do any theme here. Um, so you can do any theme. You can do whatever you have scraps for. You can make it a party camper, um, hurry home kind of thing, pack. Yeah, it's just a good good vibes kind of thing uh it doesn't it doesn't have to have a whole lot of rhyme or reason it just has to be done and enjoyed while you make it look here's a cute little cute little sequins you i think it's probably better not to get it too thick because uh just because but that's cute i don't know i think this seems like it needs something maybe it needs a probably needs a cat or something looking out the window but it doesn't this wouldn't work the little mouse wouldn't work look he's too big oh a mouse's house though oh my gosh how cute is that so if you have little critters oh you could have them peeking out the windows and they can be in here talking so you, when you open it <laughs> when you open it you've got little critters so you can cut the holes out oh my gosh that's a whole nother ball game right there but he could be looking, you could have him inside. He can be, look, I don't know if he would look good or not. Let's try him. What the heck? It's, we can try him. It's what we do. I don't even want to take him off the, the thing. I'm going to be lazy. Let's see if it works. What are we going to color him with? Hmm. Oops. Flying pictures. This was taken by my grandfather when he was in a ship coming home from the, from Europe. Uh, during the war, and that was the Statue of Liberty. Okie doke. I don't want to use alcohol markers. I think I'll just use pencils. So, I, where'd that black stuff go? There it is. This could be his little she shed. That is lazy, isn't it? Good enough. <laughs> Works. Okie doke. Then, a couple things. We are going, I'm going to go ahead, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and cut this so he looks like he's at the bottom. Ugh. But I'm going to, I'm just doing that for this rounded part down at the bottom. And then, let's see how he looks. Still a little fussy cutting for Mr. Mouse. Because this is a mouse camper. Yep, Ashley, you could do all sorts of critter fun here. You can have a little critter house and think of all the little things you can add. I can only imagine what you would do. Okay, would that work with him looking out? Sure. <laughs> Why not? He's cute as can be. Okay. Let's get a little gray, because he's probably a little gray mouse. A little gray pencil. Or you could make him match the background. I think I'll just make him a little gray mouse. Because this is very realistic. 
<laughs> adding cute critters is always a good idea. That's right. Yep, just think how you could just cut little holes and have them looking outside. Looking, for, and then it could be a whole nother looking for, forward to seeing you kind of thing. Seems like you've been gone forever. You can change up all of your sentiments that you can hand write to work, work, work with you yeah, what you want. Okie doke. Here you go, Mr. Mouse. Here's your house. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. My whiskers are just absolutely delighted. There you go. Boop, boop, ba -doop, boop, boop. You could go ahead and write Mr. Mouse on here or be creative. That's what he says. Well, let's, what did I do with it? There it is. So we can add be creative and then on the inside, something. A well used brush. No, that's not what we need. We're not showing the brush. Okay, back to this. And my exquisite stamping technique. Works for me. And that can just be his little mouse mantra. I could honestly spend, I probably have, spent a whole weekend doing these little things. You could have it hanging from the doorknob or it can just be there, or it could be a plaque for his home. I think I want it right there with just a little teeny tiny mat around it. And we'll go this dark green. If you want, this would be good for washi tape. Well, heck, the whole house could be washi tape, right? There we go. That seems like a pretty good little sentiment here for this little house. Be creative. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you could put it on a little string too. This is just one of my favorite little old projects from way, way back. I don't know if I can even find it on my blog, but maybe. It was ancient. Can't even remember. Okay, so I don't even know what I'd put on the inside, but just as a review, now that you know, oh my gosh, can you believe how fast a desk, a mask becomes a mask, which is a messy desk. So just a couple things to keep in mind. Now that you've seen the process, there's no rules. So it's just, oh, the house, mice around your house are brown. I don't, know what we have. I think we have a little brownish gray ones. But I think gray looks better than brown, so he's going to be gray. <laughs> you could put a little rouge on him too. Okay, so you can't, you, you don't have to worry about it. Your biggest things that you want to keep in mind, will it fit into an envelope? You want to make sure that the, that the base is not so big that when you add tires and a kick that it's um, not going to fit into an envelope because that then you'll you'll be going oh that Mary Gunn she didn't say that well I did I am now you can make the base so that it opens or you can make it just a plain flat piece and then it would go really cute on some paper or, whoa that's pretty pretty much to think about but it could go on a piece of pattern paper you could make an easel card out of it somehow or other, but you can't just use the flat, flat image. Now, there we go. That's better. The flat image for an L, like your main element on a card. So those are a couple things to keep in mind. These actually, these little eggs, and I'll tell you, they fit into an A2 size envelope. Isn't that amazing? So just keep that in mind that you're going to have the base, but you're also going to have to add a, some more some more stuff here. The this little guy is like three three and a fourth. If you're if you have an old 
if you have an oval, if you have, even if you had just a regular oval, it would be really cute. Three and a fourth by four and three fourths, basically. If you have nesting oval dies, you could definitely do nesting oval dies and, um, and then just cut a couple of them in and use them. With the egg shape you had, I had to mess with the, the way one was and then, then on the back being the opposite. But if you just had nesting oval dies, you could cut, you could do, you could do a ton. I don't have any, so that may end up being on my list. But, um, I, I think he turned out real cute. So you can have just the front, you can make it a card. It does stand up. It's just stinking adorable. It will make grumpy patients happy. You, you can go on the back and make the same kind of thing. You can leave a little border around it and it's a little more tricky, or you can just bring it right up to the edges and that's just fine too. Yep, it was a cute little egg. Ava, um, it, this was from a Cricut front cartridge from Close to My Heart, so if that helps. I don't have any idea which one, but it was an egg card and you just have to make it. It was an egg card. I don't remember what, but it was an old one. You can get, you can bet it was. Okay, so let's, let's look at some of the things you can do. You can make rectangle doors. You can add little bling. You can add whatever bling you have. I love the little awnings. I like a little contrast. I think it looks good with two different papers, top and bottom at least, maybe three like this one has. Um, in the middle, I always liked covering the seam. I think it was just a good design choice um, to cover the seam and it can be as outrageous as you want. Your kickstand doesn't have to be black. It can be any color you want. Your wheels don't have to be black. You can make them any color you want. Um, see this one, I don't, I do like the kickstand in sandwich underneath the pattern paper and the base because I don't like this. But you know, if you forget it, you forget it and it's okay. Um, this one, I put it on the back. So, you know, nobody knows what you were planning on doing. And if they're critical, they're critical. They're going to complain if they carry some gold. So then it, so you can make it to suit your audience. Um, you can like, this is very natural. This one's kind of outrageous and this one's very blingy, <laughs> pretty darn bright and fun. But if you have somebody that's a little more um, muted and natural tones are their thing, you can use more muted natural tones and it's just fine. Um, the wheels that I made were one and a half and then the hubcaps are uh, just an inch. You do like to, it does work better, I think, if this is on the same plane so that it doesn't, so it doesn't stand crooked. But if you, I like to put the front tire on first and then keep the back tire just uh, at the same, the same level. It just match them up so that they look really good. And you know, you never see a, a trailer with a tire here and a tire here. That would just be look dumb and everybody would know it's not real. Um, and then this little guy, you can all, you can always make these a little longer and then come back in and find, find your, your line and just do a quick little trim with a paper, uh, scissors or an X-Acto knife. Um, you can make them seasonal. Here's a little Christmas one. I used to have some really cute ones, um, that were seasonal. I had a horse trailer one I, and I had a, one that was actually looked like a pumpkin, a jack-o'-lantern. I have no idea where that one is. I have a feeling I have, um, I have a feeling I have a Pinterest board full of them. Here's another real natural one. You can just decide on your colors. This one, the, this one's popped up because the curtains are lace. And so I just, you can, you can use a little foam tape and pop them up. Your little curtains can be anything. You can even have stained glass. Um, the little, the little awning, you just make a little wider than the scraps that you have used for the window. And then if you can fold it, fold it, um, and then just cut the edges just like that. Or, you know, do the trick where you flip over the deal so that it, so that the, <laughs> the things all work out and everybody's happy. Um, this one is kind of, a, I think that was an, I don't know what that was. It's kind of stupid. 
but you can put little messages inside you can write on it you could do games inside you could make cut out pick cut out the windows and then have critters looking out um, that you could make magnetic critters that come out oh my gosh you could do anything um there you go you can put little bows on it you can hand cut hearts um little glitter paper makes makes for a real pretty camper we added some banners here you can decide not to do the back or you can do the back you can uh, make them bigger and so if you want does this one fit yep yep it does so you can make them pretty big how big is this one this one at the top is five and a half it's it's an a2 and uh for width it's three and a half and then with the wheel or the tire and the kick it's um it's four and a fourth so you can make them a little bit bigger and that's kind of fun too and then this one i just used one piece of the car of the match pattern paper folded it in half and so that you had the instant inside of the pattern paper and then just used a strip if you have branding strips they make beautiful trailers <laughs> or or campers or whatever they are if you have little stickers great place to add them especially if you don't know the way you're going to use them just go ahead and stick them on your camper um little i always like a little thing to step down on i think that's just good manners and you can use scallops you can do zigzags you can add wood grain you can do all sorts of things with your window awning too look at this little this little sticker right there it says cool <laughs> you can use all sorts of bling there's a one with a little happy face i don't know that you need the back happy face or whatever but um that's okay you don't you get to decide if you only have one bling just use it right there um here's another this one just has a you could put words on here you can put people's names you could put um places to go whatever you feel like it's just have fun with it and uh go go have some fun building campers i i just think they're a blast so i hope you like them um thursday night we will return to our postcard i love this one thursday night we will return to our postcards i think i might go ahead and put some bling on this while i'm thinking about it and then probably be done with this guy i don't know yeah it just makes him a little fancier come on come on don't don't stick now for the love of campers it, it there's a lot of give and take it's going to be it's going to be fun i hope you do make some and put it in with the homework sherry bradley has set up our homework for september and it is on the fun university lounge under media and you can just add it right there and we will be able to see it forever and it'll be great um that is a growing little group it's still pretty quiet but it's it's getting there and i think we're going to just have some fun with it in the future so that is a fun university lounge it's called under facebook okay i will take a picture of this one and get it on that for my homework and um you're thankful for replays yeah replays are are pretty pretty good we do want to thank our patrons we have a new patron that we have two actually genie quilo and oh shoot it'll come up it'll come up it will come up we do thank you guys for sponsoring us as patrons you patrons of the arts there it comes kim dixon of course and you're here tonight i'm so embarrassed um but you are patrons of the arts the crafty arts and camper arts <laughs> perhaps but but still the arts and we do thank you it does make a big difference um bought a new book for steven today on programming so things like that it just all it was an expensive book too so continued education though it's important um what else what else i don't know i don't know but we do want to thank you thursday night we will see you for postcards on cards plus right here on fun university please share like subscribe and all those good things it really does help us um then thursday friday night we have Jeannie lou she's she's good she's gonna be she's very clever i'm looking forward to seeing what she comes up with she um 
she's a little nervous so if you can give her some love over there on the Facebook group it would be great and uh, check out she does have a goal of getting 3,000 subscribers and she's only about 50 away so if you can go to inside your inside out jeans not inside your jeans that sounds bad inside out jeans that's genies and just give her a quick subscribe um, tell her you're from craft roulette and we'd all get happy about it we're gonna have some good prizes on that we're going to announce on Friday night so don't miss it and plan on making a card all right thanks so much for being here with me tonight I really appreciate seeing you I'll look, we'll look over all your comments and um, raccoons raccoons would be great oh all of the, I you there's there's no end to these these are just like just a hilariously wonderful fun thing if I find the Pinterest group I will send it into the group so that you can see all the net nutty stuff that I did for so many years and still do all right kiss your braids and one for you I do appreciate y'all so much we'll see you soon bye bye